Gorgona Island National Park and the waters of Pacific Columbia are world-renowned for marine life. Many species, whales, rays, corals, flourish here. All rely on a healthy ocean, and so too do coastal communities. But overfishing is decimating sea turtles. Four of the world's seven species are found here. Turtles aren't always the target, but as is traditional, most that are caught are eaten. Sea turtles take decades to mature, and coupled with the loss of nesting beaches to development, they're facing extinction. Dr. Diego Amorocho is director of SIMAD, a Colombian NGO working to protect turtles and their habitats through working with local people. Well, I have been working with some marine biologists for the last 30 years, most of them dedicated to the study of marine turtles. Sea turtles have been exploited for centuries. And now we are facing an over-exploitation of these natural resources. But it's also coming with the loss of habitat and fisheries incident that capture the fisheries, the marine pollution, well, plenty of man-induced threats that are jeopardizing populations in a very fast pace nowadays. Local fishermen are learning how to increase their fish catch and reduce turtle captures, whilst education in basic turtle first aid means those they do catch will survive another day. The worst cases are brought to a sea turtle rehabilitation center, which is also a popular community hub for education and livelihood development. One enterprising women's group has even started a business making hats and bags from the plastic washed up on the beaches. Over a thousand people have benefited from the center so far. Local opinions are changing and alternatives to overfishing emerging, whilst scientific research is helping guide national park development. Long term, Diego is expanding the work to encompass the whole of the Pacific coast, linking the well-being of coastal communities to a future for sea turtles. <laughs>